Hi, I'm Shannon Block and welcome back to The 5 Minute Gardener. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of work in my garden, doing some garden maintenance. I'm going to take care of removing uh, dead and dry leaves, pulling out some weeds and just make sure everything is going all right. But first I'm going to take care of the watering for the day. If you're growing your garden in containers, you're likely going to have to water your garden every single day. When you grow plants in containers, the container dries out more quickly than planting directly in the ground does. So if your garden's in the ground, you might not have to water as frequently, but in containers, it's definitely something that you have to look at every day. Even if it has been raining quite heavily, you wanna check your containers to make sure that they don't need water. Because if you have a container that is very full of plants, rain actually might hit the leaves and roll out of the container before it actually goes into the container. So even if it's raining, you still might have to keep up on your watering. If you choose water soluble fertilizer, all you have to do is simply add the powder to the water and you may choose to give it a little stir. Today I'm watering my garden midday, but it is best to water your garden early morning or in the evening. This will prevent uh, most of the water from evaporating rather than going into your soil. Another important aspect of maintaining your garden is weeding. Weeds can take water and nutrients from the soil that uh, your plants might need. So it's a good idea to get rid of them as soon as possible. Haven't really been keeping up on the weeding in my garden, so today I wanna to make sure I do a thorough job and get everything around my plants looking good. If you have any weeds in your garden that have gone to seed, you may choose to not put them in your compost because the seeds can live on in your compost and cause you more problems in the future when you put that compost back into your garden. So I've weeded all of my containers and the soil around the plants is looking good. Now I want to go back and remove any yellow or dry leaves that are on the plants themselves. With tomatoes it's okay if you're removing some of the lower stalks that aren't holding any fruit because then the tomato is actually going to put more energy to the higher stalks where the fruit is growing. My pot of tomatoes on the end is looking pretty good, but the two closer to the center are looking pretty yellow. So I think maybe this is a case of not getting quite enough water. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all those leaves and just be careful going into the future that I'm making sure to water the middle two ones as much as I am watering the outside one. You can see that these cucumbers here have started to grow up the fence, which is what I was hoping they would do. I do have a few over here that are just growing out wild, but they seem to be doing okay. So I'm gonna leave those ones hanging there and let these ones continue to grow up. When you're collecting the dry or dead leaves, it's a great time to also check for any fruit that's ready to be harvested. And you can see here, we have a bunch of yellow beans and green beans that are ready to be picked and enjoyed. It's also a good idea to uh, take any dead or dry leaves off any flowers that you may be growing and also to cut off old flowers. If you cut off flowers and prevent them from growing to seed, your flowers are more likely to keep blooming throughout the season. I've already cut some flowers off of these and you can see that it did force it to uh, promote some newer buds growing and it will continue to bloom. This flower is about to go to seed, so I'm just gonna cut it off down at the stem, at the bottom of the stem, and this should cause the plant to produce more flowers throughout the season. I hope you've enjoyed planting and maintaining your garden, but now you get to start to enjoy some of the vegetables that will continue to grow throughout the season. Thanks for joining me and see you next time on The 5 Minute Gardener.